Picture this, Q pops up, you press accept, you all tap to tweet at right flux to buff your champion, you tap back when you hear the timer running short for you to pick, you find out you had auto field support, you panic pick Morgana, you would dodge which you've already dodged twice today and your last alt account got banned yesterday, you accept your fate and open up lawlytics to figure out what to build, you see that Zonius before Leandris has a 1% higher win rate so you decide to build that. You, my friend, have just been bamboozled by the stats. And no, I don't mean it's worse because it has a lower play rate. The whole lower play rate means more mains thing is a myth anyway. No, what I mean is rushing Zonius on Morgana actually has a lower win rate than rushing Leandris. But how could that be, you ask? Did Lalytics lie to me? The answer is no, the stats on Lalytics are correct, you just interpreted them wrong. Look at the stats again, doesn't anything seem wrong? Does it really make sense for the most popular Morgana build to have 59% win rate when Morgana herself only has a 51.3% win rate? See, these stats, as well as build path stats you find on just about every stat site, only show you the stats of the games where the players manage to get both items, but in reality, about 45% of the time, Morgana doesn't even get to her second item. If you want to holistically evaluate a build, then you also need to take into account the situations when the game ends before Morgana finishes her second item. And if you want to holistically be good at stats, you need to be subscribed to this channel. Seriously, I'm not joking. Press the button right now! Out of all the stat sites, only Lolalytics has stats for these situations. They can be found in the exact item count tab. But wait, having only Zonius also has a higher win rate than only Leandris. Why then am I telling you Leandris into Zonius has a higher win rate than the other way around? Well, that's because the problem here is even sneakier than that. Remember when I said 45% of the time Morgana doesn't make it to second item? I was lying, kinda. Morgana players end the game at one item 45% of the time, when they rush Zonius. Rushing Leandris, however, takes that number down to 36%. You can check this by dividing the number of games where they ended with only the selected item by the total number of games where they bought the item. I told you it was a sneaky problem, it's no wonder you were bamboozled. There's an easy way to catch it out though. It's what the last tab is there for. The extrapolated sets tab includes the stats for when the game ends before the players get to complete the build. These sets are called extrapolated because we can't know for sure how many of the players that ended the game with fewer items would have gone for the build, so this number is estimated. Notice that it shows Zonius first as having a lower win rate than Leandris first. To summarize, the exact item counts tab has stats of the games where players only got the specified items and nothing else. The actually built sets tab has stats of games where players got the specified items or more. And the extrapolated sets tab has stats of games where players got to the specified items plus an estimation of the stats of games where they would have gotten them if the game hadn't ended too soon. But none of them show you the stat I alluded to earlier, which is a stat you thought you had at the beginning, and which is what you actually want to know. Neither of the three tabs individually give you the win rate you can expect to get if you go for either build. In order to get that stat, you need to combine stats from the three tabs. If you add the games and wins from actually build tab with those from the extrapolated tab, you take into account the games that went beyond the build as well as those who didn't get to it. But then you count all the games that ended exactly at the specified build twice, since those are present in both tabs, so you also need to subtract the games and wins from the exact counts tab. By combining the stats from all three tabs, you can find what you actually wanted to begin with, which is that going Leandris first actually has about 1% higher win rate. While this calculation is cool and all, it's not ideal to have to do it for every build every time you want to check win rates. Because of this, I do a little code injection to make it so that the extrapolated sets tab on my browser shows the results of that calculation, instead of what it normally shows. Here are the win rates for two item builds on Morgana, by the way. Notice the win rates for Zonius plus Leandris match the ones we calculated manually. To find the best build, we can sort by the win rate, but this comes with a new issue. Some builds have very few games and very high win rates. Their high win rate isn't a very good indicator of anything, because it could have just won so often by chance. A balanced coin might land tails 5 times in a row, but that doesn't mean it would keep landing tails if you kept throwing it, whereas if it landed 10,000 times in a row, then you can be pretty sure it's rigged to always land tails. If you've taken a stats class before, this might be triggering your PTSD, which I'm sorry for, but you may also see where this is going. 
See, situations that only have two outcomes, like coin flips and League of Legends games, are also called Bernoulli trials, and they have been extensively studied by mathematicians. Repeated Bernoulli trials specifically follow a binomial distribution. And when you're working with a binomial distribution, you're often going to make use of a binomial test of significance, in which you calculate a p-value for a hypothesis involving the success rate. In our case, we don't really have a hypothesis to test, but we can still make use of binomial tests. Instead of looking at the win rate of a build, we can use a binomial test to calculate a win rate that has a specific chance of being lower than the win rate we'd see if the build had more games. I set that chance at 99% in the code I injected into the browser. Here are the results for Morgana. I excluded Magi since people only build it when they're already winning, so it has a very inflated win rate. See, turns out the best build would be Leandri's into Zonius, although it is tied with Shirelia's into Zonius. They both have a 99% chance to have over 52.03% win rate. In my last video, I said I'd be looking at Nyla whenever I made a video about builds, so here she is. At the moment, Ravenous Hydra is insanely overpowered, so the best build is Ravenous into Shilvo, with at least 55.8% win rate. But that's not going to last, since Ravenous is thankfully getting hard nerfed next patch. It's hard to tell how good it will be after the nerfs, so for now let's look at builds without it. Last patch, there were a few builds at about 55% win rate, mostly involving Collector, but Essence River also looked good. This patch, both of these items still look good, but now you can go Navri Quick Plates over Infinity Edge. Remember that these win rates are only the lower bound of the confidence interval, so there's a 99% chance they're lower than the actual win rate of the build. This means having a lower win rate with few games doesn't necessarily mean the build is weak, just that we can't be sure it's strong without more games. So right now, the build we can be most sure is really good is Ravenous Shieldbow Collector, or Shieldbow Collector Navri if we're not counting Ravenous. But it's also fair to say that Guild Force instead of Shieldbow has potential to be good, and Essence Reaver doesn't look bad if you can fit it into a build. Most of all, Phantom Dancer just looks like complete bait. If you want to be adventurous, Essence Reaver into Collector and then Navri with 4th item Mythic might actually be pretty good, but there are basically no games to verify this. 4th item Mythic might be a little bit too late though. Anyway, thanks for watching till the end. At the end of every video, I tell viewers a secret word to include in a comment to let me know they watch till the end. Last video it was carrot, in this one we're sticking with the vegetable theme and going with lettuce. Bonus point if you use it in a pun. With that said, I don't think I have anything else to talk about, so remember to like, subscribe and click the notification bell to catch my next videos. And if you want to see more content like this right now, I'll put up a card on screen to another video of mine. If you want to bug me about league stats, you can find me on Twitter at JNCLOL. Well, that's everything. See you next time.